So speaking of the Mariners, Seattle took game one of a four game set against Toronto last night and has now won 13 of their last 16. By the way, they are one of the two games on the Apple TV Plus doubleheader tonight. I'll be hosting three and post game, so shameless plug. They're back to 500 after being 10 games under just two Sundays ago. And the M's, yeah, they're only three games out of a wild card spot. So X, let's go back to you. Will the M's end their postseason drought this year? I want the believe signs. Let's do this. Um, no, we're not doing this. That we're not what? doing this whatsoever. But you love you guys, J Rod. I, yeah, I do love J Rod. That doesn't mean I love the whole team getting past the teams in the AL East. I look at those teams in the AL East when you're talking about the Red Sox, when you're talking about the Rays, when you're talking about Toronto, all a game within each other. Uh, it's going to be too tough for them to get past those teams. If they would have started a little bit better, especially on the offensive side, they would be able to afford themselves a better opportunity. But I just look at uh, maybe a little bit too late, right? This is a team that, yes, they've gotten some energy back after the fight with the Angels, but you're still a team that's been struggling to put up some some offense. And, and I think they've needed this offense much earlier than it's than it started right now. So when you look at those teams in the AL East, I don't think any of those teams let up. Uh, there might be a little inconsistency with the Blue Jays right now, but I think all four of those teams in the AL East end up making the playoffs, and uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And, and also, the Astros, are 13 games ahead in that AL West, so there's no shot that they win the West. I, the only shot they have is one of those teams in the East falling off, and I don't think it's happening. I, I think that's an interesting argument. However, I want to counter, and Pat, you're very familiar, as are you, Keith, with the AL East. The O's, they're no slouch either. I think these <laughs> teams can beat up on themselves and actually allow the M's to work their way into potentially a wild card spot, especially given the fact that they have the eighth easiest remaining strength of schedule. Yeah, listen, LG, the, the ace. Uh, uh, wait, 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 LG, they can beat up on each other, but that doesn't mean they're going to se separate one from another. That, that just means that it could end up still being the same just because of them beating up on each other. That, that doesn't mean one team's going to separate and start beating on one more than the other. You're, I think they still stay close. You're both on camera, so I'll let you finish. Yeah, listen, point. I agree with you, X, because <laughs> although they will beat up on each other, it, just because one loses, the other one's going to win. So uh, if they just keep bouncing back and forth between each other, the Mariners have to win a, consist uh, a, a more consistent rate than the others do in order to catch up up those games and I just don't see the Mariners doing that final thoughts in this new playoff format this first year of the new format the beast of the east I want to see the AL East all in it especially with the Yankees being as good as they are like it's just more of a flex to be like the Yankees crushed yeah. the best division in baseball and they all Here made the postseason <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is Ty France being back. I think Robbie Ray is still yet to round back into that Cy Young form. And, of course, once again, pointing back to the Orioles, they may not get into it, but they're going to cause some problems for other teams in their division.